So I will get it eventually. I think someone in LA was spending about five minutes trying to choose the song. <laughs> sure. Alrighty. We're in. We get to see him just make it into top four at his first little bracket. Uh, finally being dragged out to something. He oh, did. free will. I think I Spectre may have condimented this. <laughs> Ooh, okay. Ooh, okay, okay, All right. okay. Yeah. Spectre's writing the history book right now. Yeah. <laughs> D yeah, your D your D Y fine Queensland one step at a time. <laughs> but uh, we'll see. This is the run back. Dags took it out. Game three last hit in their first set tonight. So we'll see if that goes Dags way again, or if Lucas has warmed up to the uh, the bracket atmosphere, the land, not the Wi-Fi. You haven't got the delay frames to hide behind anymore. At least you have actually played a bit offline as well. Yeah, I think they, I got the feeling that they were like. Familiar with each other at least. Hmm. I think they play fairly evenly offline, generally. That's if my memory serves Ryan, correctly. Really clean dash can but your Lucas has proven to be uh, It's definitely a force to be careful with. Yeah, right he's quite good, and uh, it's been like. Since Sad Hour hasn't been able to attend as much, we've kind of lost that snake in Queensland. Um, but, I don't know, I, I personally quite like Snake, so he's a bit of a divisive character. I don't mind him, and, uh, and I, I'm down to see new stage and what they bring to the table. There's also a guest showing, um, just because it's someone's first yeah, actual comp, even though it's not an actual comp. Don't take him lightly. <laughs> oh, for sure. I know, we're still taking the bracket seriously, so... Uh, 100%. Lucas beating Shadru, because Shadru was playing Ken as well, so... That's a real set in terms of, like, attempts, really. We definitely take that win as being significant. And, uh, Tags does not be able to find a start. Snake's weight is just too much to deal with for poor old Roy. And, uh... Once again, I don't know. I think I might have to start shouting at the Roy players a bit. I think I'm going to push my agenda that this is a terrible stage for Roy. I think, <laughs> you, I think you're all trolling. And not mashing enough? I mean, I agree with that. But um, I think he's uh, given a, himself a giant stage to attempt to do that on. Which is uh, exactly... Oh, yeah, well, audio snake. delay. Oh, is there an audio delay? Oh, dear. It's a good Roy stage. Uh, it's a good Roy stage. Uh, it's it? It's definitely not. Yeah, Snake is. Lucas is showing that it can work in his favor. Um. Oh. If the audio is still delayed, chat, I can probably fix it very quickly. Fix it, but if the, if the audio is still delayed, chat, can you tell me real quick, and I will run and see if I can fix it. Mm. No it's very delayed. All right, I'll give it a quick shot. Sorry, we have that. They're still playing? Okay, no. Well, he just, we lost screen there. Okay. Good now, good now. Good to hear it, Wash. Yeah, Wash is it's good now. Stay with uh, one. We also lost, um, video. Yeah, we did. Oh, okay, cool. I killed the video and restarted it. Oh, okay. Wasn't sure if that was intentional. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no. Yeah, if it felt good now, it felt good. Mm. Yeah, I, the stream is, it's a very bizarre setup I have going with it. 
gameplay of going through the land network of the venue. So it occasionally like desyncs. Um, I just restart the capture down there and it seems to fix it. But oh, we got it. Easy. Uh, but this first stock looks pretty even, and we've got um now this is a stage that I'm more happy to see Darius going to. Uh, you're giving Snake less like less places to go with the high recoveries, less platforms to play under with the grenades. Uh, and also the low ceiling means that like if you do get up aired while you're falling down, you're more likely to have your stuff taken. That all said, um, you're still playing with the lead once again. Anyone else having the delay or just me? I don't know. I'll, I'll keep an eye on it. I mean, uh, yeah, sometimes it can be. Uh, most people. As far as they might just have Toowoomba internet moment. <laughs> oh, Toowoomba. Yeah, it's the other thing. It's like one of the difficulties of being an Australian streamer is when someone says it's a technical issue, it's like, okay, but it, whose side is it on? Because oh. we all have awful internet, so it's like. Not just that, you've got the major mix, you've still got some people, I think. The old oh, yeah. system before NBA. Yep, sure. I think Toowoomba's that rural anymore. I mean, technically, it's, yes. It's pretty, it's pretty rural, but it's a pretty, pretty developed within Toowoomba. It's oh, still, yeah. It's still out in the boonies a little bit. But. True, but it's not like... No, they are a bit... Central is very no, weird. the centre is pretty a bit of a cultural centre now. Yeah, so. okay. Definitely build up, build up. Ooh, okay. There's like three empty helps from Dags right there, just trying to press Lucas to do anything out of shield, but he's not going to budge. He's too patient. Either... Lucas plays, um... <laughs> he, he plays like a... He, this is something that I kind of remember from like Bro One as well. It's like the lack of fear in being a land player. It's like he's gotten very good playing Wi Fi and is not like conditioned to be stressed by things. And sometimes that can really work out for you. Lucas has just been very patient in a lot of these like scramble situations where he's stuck in shield and he's like, I'm just going to wait or I'm going to wait for you to budge first and then I'm just going to punish that off. And he's done it a lot. And it's like. It's a skill that people have to develop over time, often. And like, you just sort of never had the fear to begin with. Oh, which Lucas doesn't show any of that Yeah, he just seems ever. to be sort of chilling. Yeah. It's like, just another day in the office. Good day out of shield. Two grenades on the ledge. Yeah, you can't... Dags, you can't keep holding the ledge. He's been doing it all night, and you're going to get hit eventually. Oh, and the SD. Look, I don't think it mattered too much. Lucas had that game in the bag, I'd say. Oh, yeah. But yeah, I think um, the Roy is still a bit new for Dags, and the his comfortability off the ledge is a uh, it's definitely a, a hole in his game plan. He probably has from being a Wii Fit trainer main for so long. Because Wii Fit is happiest on the ledge, and you've got all the mix-ups off the ledge. It's like oh, you're not scared, but. Suddenly, when you're playing a character, it kind of has to get off more honestly. It's like, oh, okay. But this is a Chrom adaptation. Yeah. Looks like it. It's like, have really seen Dags um, properly hold a character since he's been trainer? No. He's been experimenting quite a bit, yeah, hasn't he's he? played the Young Link and the Peach and the Roy predominantly. Mm. There might have been some others in there as well. I'm not sure what his plan is, if he wants to commit to one or a couple, or still feeling it out. Who knows? Switch between one if he's still feeling it out a bit there. Yeah. Luke is trying to get something on the top of that up B, but his base wasn't quite right. Oh, the south spot. He's nearly landing on a grenade there. I think, uh... Lucas is way more will willing to play the footsie game than some other snakes that we've watched. Like, some snakes are just like, grenade fiends, which is like, as you should be, and they will just constantly be throwing up grenades everywhere, playing around them. But Lucas is really happy to like, actually just like, oh, I'm gonna react. I'm gonna pivot and I'm gonna tilt you, or I'm going to out of shield you. And he's opting for that to create those situations for himself quite a bit. Yeah, he seems to really play a fairly 
rounded um, sniping comparison. Oh my god! He just set up the up smash and down tilted into it. What the fuck? <laughs> oh, okay. That's that's some custy stuff. Uh, I might be a Lucas fan. I have no knowledge of Lucas outside of like <laughs> the, just the murmurings. Oh. Yeah. Uh, um, but I, I'm turning into a Lucas fan pretty quickly. Gotta say, I am a bit of a Lucas fan, but that's probably again culture bias. Yeah. Like, have dinner with him fairly <laughs> <laughs> frequently these days. This is his over, um, over Spectre. Yeah, just grinding. <laughs> yeah. That's good. They've got, they've got good practice partners in each other then, so that works out. 100% and they're not too far away from each other, which is always nice. Time to grab. Water off. Up to you. If you like the double at ledge, oh dear, there's a lot of explosions there. Take the stock. Wait. The back air finding it, just coming out a bit too quick. Taking a stop. This is about as even as we've seen it. Um, but still. Yeah, definitely. I'm surprised we're going to have to put something together. Otherwise, Lucas will just slowly chip him down. The circle is saying that Lucas is still giving himself plenty of options. I mean, touch the stop. Double the nade. Pretty impressive getting that far from any damage and stuff. Ah, the grenade. There we go. Yeah. Got 10% of the last uh, second. He's so fucking good. Yeah. I, I can't believe it. I, I believe the hype. I've been convinced. 